Bell didn't get the one he went after with Alshon Jeffrey. So a first down carry, and once more it's Langford, the second year back out of. And J.J. Watt, who's made a tremendous return to play right here in the opener, but he's had his troubles right there. Bobby Massey rode him out of the play, knocked him aside. There he is working with Massey, and then he gets chipped by the back Langford, which you have to do. You can usually not one-on-one, -on -one, but Kyle Long does a nice job holding in there and establishing and holding his ground. J.J. Watt, 14 snaps out of the 18 plays, has one quarterback hit. He had 50 quarterback hits all of last year. But don't think that J.J. Watt won't have an impact before this game is over. He did. Five-time Pro Bowlers, seven times a team captain, twice a Super Bowl champion. Cutler in all kinds of trouble. The team. Yep. If you watch him work the jugs gun, watch 75. He senses it, feels the play, and then falls back into the coverage. And look at the pressure there. Clowney and then Watt. Clowney flushes him. Watt finally gets a hit on him. We always talk about J.J. Watt. He came back from all these surgeries, but what are we getting from him today? How's he been doing? Tough time there. Bobby Massey runs him around, makes it tough for him. Gets a hit, but it's late to Cutler. There he is out here wide, trying to get that wide nine stance and get to the quarterback. And Massey runs him past the quarterback. Just three of ten on third down. This is a must-have. And down goes Cutler. Minnesota storm back to take the lead over Tennessee. And look who picks up the sack. There is they saying he's down or he threw it. They're gonna let him say that he got it out of his hands. He got rid of it. That's he, J.J. Watt. He's not gonna be happy at all about this. Watch number 99. Beats Bobby Massey upfield. He's got him, got him wrapped up. Look at him. Cutler hanging on and, and Watts like, that's a sack. Have you seen my contract? That's a sack. <laughs>